What's good, Josh? We're Ross Becca again with another video. So, we gotta talk about this amazing promo from CM Punk and from Seth Rollins tonight. This, in my opinion, was the highlight of the show. We knew CM Punk was gonna give his decision on what show, what brand he was gonna be a part of, whether it was gonna be Monday Night Raw, NXT or SmackDown, he appeared on all, all of the other shows, and we kind of, we knew, it we, It was, it was kind of, I wouldn't say, well, yeah, it was definitely kind of obvious, I'm not even gonna lie, we knew Monday Night Raw was going to be the destination, but I like the reasoning why Monday Night Raw was going to be uh, his choice, he was talking about how, pretty much how things have come full circle, how this place cleveland they were in cleveland and how it's kind of a a bittersweet moment for him um and how that he's had some interesting things happen in that city he talked about debuting there uh in uh um at w uh, at wwe only for him to get sent to ovw then he talked about how he got attacked by randy orton and punt kicked <laughs> into oblivion and had to relinquish the world heavyweight championship and i didn't even realize that I was in cleveland and then he talked about how you know he may have let some fans down on a night that he was supposed to show up and he walked out he walked out in cleveland that was the show you were supposed to show up to and he ended up walking out and leaving wwe or whatnot so it was one of those things where you know, he even apologized, which was crazy to see him say this on camera. He's like, I just want to apologize for the fans that paid their money and thought they were going to see CM Punk that night and he didn't show up. But he said all of this to pretty much bring it back to the main reason why he knew he was going to sign with Monday Night Raw once he saw that they were going to be in Cleveland. He was like, you know what? I knew this was going to be the place. Didn't matter what other, you know, Brands was trying to get me once I saw that Monday Night Raw was going to be in Cleveland. It only makes sense that where it ended in Cleveland, I bring it back and start it back up again. So he announced that he was going to sign with Monday Night Raw and he signed the contract, you know, and shook uh, Adam Pierce's hand. And as soon as he does that, we hear Seth Rollins' music and I knew business was about to truly ultimately pick up i was not <laughs> expecting i was expecting him to potentially come out and let them have a face-to-face -face, but i did not expect seth rollins to cook like he did he came out there looked like he was in this uh all joker fit he had an all purple fit and then he had these <laughs> wild ass shades on and then as he's doing this little dance at the beginning he throws the shades into the crowd and then his face changed. It was seriousness. And serious Seth Rollins, in my opinion, is the best version of him. Not the, the cackling, laughing like a joker, doing the funny dances. No, him being serious, that's when I knew, okay, we're in for something. So he gets into the ring. And for like at least a minute or so, they're just staring at each other. Just the visual of it. Had the crowd chanting, holy shit, bro. The visual of them just staring at each other at the crowd chanting, holy shit, they had to bleep it. I was getting goosebumps just by watching it. No words were said. And I thought that was going to be it. But no, Seth had a microphone. And he proceeded to really tell CM Punk how he felt. He's like, oh, welcome to Monday Night Rollins. And then he just started to go in on him. He, he started to really let his feelings be known. And one of the things that he, he wanted to really, like, I guess, go at is CM Punk. He said, I'm home now. Before he signed the contract, he said it again. He said it the first time when he uh, uh, made his uh, re-debut on Monday Night Raw a few weeks ago. He basically said, I'm home. Well, he said it again this time, right before he signed the contract to be a part of Monday Night Raw, saying I'm home. And Seth did not like that. He's like, that's cool. You're on Monday Night Raw. That's awesome. But 
I don't want to ever hear you say you're home. You're home. No, you're not home. You sat up here. You talked bad about this place. You talked bad about the people in the back. You left this place. And then you tried to sabotage this place after you left. He's referring to him going to AEW. I, I, bro, this was so good. Seth was locked in. Just saying all the things that fans have said online. You know, he, he's even brought up his issues with him. He's like, you, you've you taken shots at me personally, you know, and and now you want to sit up here and say you're home? Like you're 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 part of the problem. And this was just it was like Seth just releasing all the things that he does not like about CM Punk. And CM Punk not saying a word, not really showing too much emotion. He's just sitting there listening to Seth say these things. And of course you hear the the wall chants, and then you can also hear the CM Punk chants as well. So, you know, it's it's one of those things the crowd is kind of split. 50 50 but the things he was just trying to get off his chest the passion he had the seriousness there was no laughing i loved every second of what seth rollins was saying and some of you guys even noticed in the live stream that we were doing and it definitely reminded me of the promo that cm punk had when he kind of first debuted and one of his feuds with adam page if you guys remember that promo it was more or less Adam Page basically saying, you know, I need to protect the locker room from people like you. And that was pretty much what he said here. Not the same way, but he phrased it like, I got to protect this. I got to protect WWE and, and the people here from you, from you destroying this place. You know, and I I thought that was a very interesting parallel. No, I don't know if you guys saw that or recognize that. And then it started getting even better. Because he started breaking it down. There's like, he said, there's two options. There's two things that's going to happen here. One, you're going to prove me and every, everyone else right. You're going to self-implode. You're going to be destructive. And you'll find, your, you'll find your way to, you know, out of the company for the last time. Because he said, this is your last opportunity. You can't mess this up no more. So either you're going to mess this up and find yourself out of a job once again, essentially. Or, by some miracle, you don't implode, you don't mess this up, you don't get fired. And by some chance, you have an opportunity to face me for the World Heavyweight Championship. I get to prove to everyone why you're a fraud anyway, on why you're not the best in the world. And I love that. That was so damn good. Because basically he said, either you will destroy yourself like you always have, or if you do get an opportunity to face me, I'm going to destroy you and show everyone why you're not the best in the world. Love it. And all the points he made were very valid points that people have made on social media. So I'm thinking CM Punk is not even going to say nothing. He get, gets a microphone, and his response was perfect. He didn't even need to say much. He said, are you done? Is that is that, That's all you have to say, right? And he made it very clear. It's like, one, I'm going to give you a pass. I'm going to give you a pass on disrespecting me like that. Because the next time you do that, there may be an, we, we may have a problem. So I'm going to give you a pass on you disrespecting me. This is your one free hall pass on you talking to me like you talked to me just now. Because after that, it's up. And then, two, he's like, where's... Where's Adam Pierce? Adam Pierce is outside just watching this as well, get eating out his popcorn too, like we all were, being entertained. He's like, Adam Pierce, I want you to make this official. I officially declare myself in the 2024 Royal Rumble. And when I do win, I don't know. You may have to be on the lookout because I may just come for you and take that title and walked off. And Seth Rollins smirked because he didn't have to say nothing else. It was simple. I'm, I declare myself in the Royal Rumble. When I do win, I don't know. I might just take that title from you. And he didn't really just say he was going at it specifically. You know, it gives that 
that that that little bit of uncertainty, even though I do feel like that's the feud they're building to, because you know he does have history with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman as well. So he can tease that a little bit if he does win the Royal Rumble. But I like just him putting him on notice. Like, if I win it, I may just come and take this title from you. Just to let you know, this was fantastic. This was fantastic. Once again, Seth Rollins dropped some nuclear bombs on CM Punk. CM Punk is the one that usually be dropping the pipe bombs, but he was coming with him with some nuclear heat. And CM Punk simply just made it made it known, I'm going to be in the Royal Rumble. And if you keep talking like that, I may take the title from you when I win it. I love that. I love it. This promo worked. Seth Rollins aired out his grievances, which makes sense, which are plausible, which people have said before about CM Punk. And he has every right to say it. And CM Punk laid, made it very, made it known. That's fine. We'll see what happens after the Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens when it gets close to WrestleMania time. And I'm all here for it. This is great. Best part of the show. I don't know. I, I really don't know what else to say. Other than if you haven't seen the promo, go watch it. This is what I like about Seth Rollins. When he's serious, he gives you some of his best work. Promo wise. I need more of this. That's what I need more of because I love what I, I heard there. This was truly, truly fantastic. CM Punk, fantastic as well. Can't wait to see this feud really get into motion. We're just at the beginning stages. And I it just just off that alone lets me know, ah oh man, we, we're in for a great story. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy the Seth Rollins CM Punk? promo like i did because i definitely did and it got me it has me so excited and i can't wait for the royal promo it needs to come much sooner man i'm 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 ready for the royal Rumble to be here now but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm seeing you on this peter youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace